Obviously, with the tragedy recently in Florida and the four claims in the area of potential school threats and shootings, Madison County Schools has had to react to all the parents' concerns and obviously for the children's safety at all local high school and middle schools. We talked to Randy Neely, Chief Operating Officer here at Madison County Schools, who gave us all the information and hopefully quelled the fears of most parents. When you donate to the Habitat Restore, you do more than just clear out stuff from your home or office. By donating it to the Restore, you can help build a new home for someone in need. The donation is tax deductible and they will even come pick it up from you. Check out the Restore for yourself. Located behind the Richmond Mall or on Facebook. Protocol, we have several things that are already in place here in Madison County as far as what we're doing for security purposes. Um, first and foremost, every school building that you enter, you have to be buzzed to, to enter the building and then to enter into the hallway or where classrooms are, you have to be buzzed into that area as well. So every school has, has that set up. Also, we have school resource officers, uh, one at each high school, and then we have another one designated for our middle schools. So, and, and they don't have to stay in those schools in particular. So if we have a issue at one of the elementary schools, then we call the Richmond Police Department and they'll send someone there. The thing that I like about school resource officers, they know the kids. They're around them every day. They're just like someone on staff. Because when something like this happens, and, and this being uh, rumors or, or there's an actual threat, then all of us uh, need to get involved as soon as possible. Every school also has a safety committee, uh, which includes the principal and teachers on staff and whether classified or certified. We need to have at least monthly, uh, every other week meetings with our safety committee so that we're uh, on the same page. We can't put our head in the sand and say what's well, not going to happen here or I'm not going to talk about it because it may, everybody is talking about it. Parents, uh, community members, administrators. So it's out there, so let's talk about it. What can we do to fix this issue, which I think is a social issue that could hit home at any time? County Attorney Judd Patterson and I met Friday, uh, and we spoke about this same thing. As a community, Richmond, Madison County, what do we need to do? Uh, so he reached out to some folks who are city leaders. Reached, uh, he's reached out to the chief of police, the Richmond Police Department. Uh, the state police and myself and actually we're going to meet next week as a community because the school we as a school system we can do the best we can uh, from 7 a.m. till whenever you go home but as a community what else can we do so metal detectors fix it at every classroom or in every school uh, I don't know that um, you know there, there are some instances where uh, metal detectors are out of school and, and they have found ways around that. Um, no backpacks. You know, all, we need to put it all on the table and we need everybody. We need all the leaders in Madison County to get together and figure out first and foremost, how are we going to keep our children, our kids safe in our schools? Because when we're at a time here where you, someone or somebody is afraid to go to school, I feel we have measures uh, in place that deter anything like this happening, but there's always someone or somebody or something that can be done better and that's what we have to get together and and see what's what we what else we need to do as a district i have two kids just be aware of what your kids are doing if they're on the phone 24 7 downstairs upstairs in their bedroom get their phone see what they're on check it out that's your phone if you're paying the bill see what they're on see what they're involved with. talk to your kids it's going to cost money, but money's not an option when we're talking about lives and security. So it, it's all on the table. And uh, Aaron and I have a big job ahead of us uh, just staying out in front of it and making sure we do what we can. Officials at the schools told us that they are adapting and they're continuously holding meetings, not only with local police, but local officials as well. And be on the lookout for Madison County Schools website where they have a page just for security for parents. For WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.